Hello everyone, new episode of The Lab, welcome everyone. We're gonna talk today about something that I see in Ranked a lot. You queue in, you go into the lobby, and there's Reyna Instalog, Ray's Instalog, Jet Instalog, and the other two MFs are going, well, I guess I go Yoru, and the other one goes Neon. And you're like, eh, man, that's already lost, uh, FF5, and why do you care, it's only Ranked, and so on, right? Every game is winnable. Every game is winnable, and one thing that I really want to put attention to is the fact that what wins games is not the agents that you play, but the way that you act in the game, both as a player and both as a human. That is the mo most important aspect which decides if you're winning a game or lose a game in most cases. You can play any composition you like, you can play no smokes, you can play no initiators, you can play all duelists, you can play whatever you want. It doesn't matter as long as the team is working towards success. So, first thing, when I play, when I play ranked, for me there's only two things that are important, right? Don't be toxic towards your teammates, vent to yourself, whatever. You can just speak whatever you want to yourself, you know, just vent to yourself. Don't be toxic towards other people in the game. And two, always try to win. And when someone will just say like, but how can you play without smokes? The thing is, you can always play without a certain character on every map, but you need to figure out a way of how to avoid doing the same shit that you would be doing with that agent. The very best example is, for, for let's say, Icebox. We have no Sage. Well, planting on B now requires a different plan, right? Many people failed to understand or fail still to understand it that if you go onto b side on on icebox well now you have to get a little bit more space and be more aggressive before you even starting to plant you cannot just go in wall off put in the sage wall plant and fuck off you know that's not how that's not how it works beautiful ai photo by the way and the same goes for for a side on bind like if if we go on a side on bind typically when you have a sage right the sage just puts a you know, puts a wall here. The smokes are essentially always being put at the same same positions as well. They just smoke here, you know, here, and then one probably heaven or something, and I'm like, yeah, done. And and people just play like this, like they have sage every game. But then suddenly you don't have a sage, and the brimstone still does those does the same smokes. I don't see any kind of improvisation or. Adapt, uh, adaptability coming from players because if you don't have a sage on a side well then the smokes need to go like this so it can be more aggressive onto site and take aggressive control of showers in sight and then when someone is planting the spike right let's assume the chamber is planting then the other players are just helping him plant by watching over him right raises looking at this smoke Sage is looking at this smoke, so if whatever, whoever is peeking from out of those smokes, he's instantly dead. He might kill the chamber, but he gets traded, so someone else then picks the, picks the spike and plants again. And if you don't have smokes, right, then you generally, you need to just play slower. You just cannot push sight as an execute ex and expect, like, miracles, right, because you can't take the space that you typically would have, right? And you know what's the funniest thing? When you attack b side, you essentially don't need smokes. The only thing that, is, that you kind of want to cut vision off is elbow. Because typically when someone, when you're attacking B-side, right? When you're attacking B-side on bind, you're putting the smokes like this. Like, which by the way, I'm a very big opponent of, right? When you think about it, this smoke doesn't really do much. Apart from cutting off the players that are coming in from the rotation. So when you're attacking the site, you essentially don't need any smokes, because you can flash the elbow, you can use a jet smoke even, to achieve the same, to just push onto site, if you have a sage, just wall off it, you don't need a smoke, if you have a neon, she can use her own skill, phoenix the same, like, I mean, if you have Reyna, well, that's, <laughs> can't do much, but in general, like, you don't need to have a smoke player to win the game, you don't need an initiator to gather space, you just need to play well with your teammates, you know? Like, you know, you need to trade them, you need to communicate, you need to give informations, like, 
First thing, what, what happens when you die, you go, Sage, elbow, 80 damage. And that's it. And you, and you go quiet. You know? Like, those are the things that are deciding factors in the game. Not the fact that you have a good composition. Think about it this way. On a fundamental level, when 10 players are against each other, right? If, if a team has better aim, better game sense, and better teamwork, then they just crush the other five. And it doesn't matter which agents they play. The agents matter when you have two teams that are on very similar level to those fundamental rules, and then the compositions actually make a difference. So, in ranked, this really doesn't matter, because you have randomized people. The only thing that matters is that you, you need to be a constantly good player to win games. If you play your best agent, if you get kills, if you trade people, if you give communications, it doesn't matter which agent you play, as long as you play him well or her, and you try to be a good teammate. And that is the most important aspect of playing ranked. And whenever I see people go, Oh no, man, we don't have a fucking brimstone. Oh, I, I hate playing smokes. I can't play smokes, but I'll play smokes. It's lost. Guaranteed. You're gonna be inting your teams with bad smokes. Exclamation mark smokes in chat, by the way. There's like three tutorials I already made about smokes. So if you don't know how to play smokes, please watch them and learn. And please never play an agent in ranked that you don't feel comfortable with. It's okay dodging a game as well if you feel like you're not gonna perform because you're gonna play on an agent that you hate. Okay? Just, just play the agent that you like. Play the agent that you know. If you're gonna perform well, well, you, you did your job. That's it. It doesn't matter that you have Cypher Killjoy in your team. You can still win without smokes. You know? That's it. And the most important aspect of of picking an agent that you don't know how to play, pay attention to what happens. When you pick an agent that, uh, let's say, I don't know, I played two games of Viper, and I go into a match I, and I see Icebox, oh no, we have no Viper. Four players already locked in. And I go, okay, I'll pick Viper, man. I never played Viper, guys, but I'm gonna fucking pick it for the team. Eh? And you feel like a god because you're just so kind to the other players. But the reality is that you're losing the game right now because you go into the Viper, and instead of paying attention to the game, and trying to shoot people, you're going to be like, how do I do this wall? Oh, here. Then you don't know the, the timing of how the fuel works. You don't know, like, any lineups for... Not possible lineups, by the way. Any lineups, right? The most important ones for taking space. And you don't know how to, like, equip the, the, uh, the, the snake bite in time to not get pushed. Like, all of those small details will make you lose rounds. And if you lose rounds... You are useless. It doesn't matter which agent you play. You need to play well. You are the only constant in your games. There are nine other random players, but you are always in your lobby. And if you are consistent, you're going to rank up. That's it. I guess that's my rant. Very quick today, by the way. Four minutes and 45 seconds. Guys, if you have any topics that you would like to discuss... Make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to leave uh, a, a message on Discord. We have a chat for that as well. Um, and yeah. And we're going to record the uh, next one tomorrow. See you guys around. Bye-bye.